Saitiva is asking, how can we package products sustainably? Over the past two years, we transformed the way we send products to customers through key partnerships and high ambition. One of the objectives is actually the elimination of polystyrene boxes that we are using to keep our product at certain temperatures like negative and two to eight degrees dry and wet ice. But it's not a simple exercise. Saitiva knew this ambition would require collaboration. Timberpack has built their mission on providing sustainable packaging materials to replace plastic packaging. So to align with Saitiva, who also is very ambitious in terms of sustainability, it's great to be able to bring our values together and allow the sustainable uh, packaging together. It doesn't matter how sustainable a product is, if it doesn't work to provide the correct thermal performance to keep your products safe when shipping from A to B. So we've designed our liners to reduce convection and conduction. So there are thousands of tiny air pockets in the interior of the panel that trap heat so that you can maintain safe temperature inside of the box. We estimate that uh, compared to an EPS box, a climate cell box can reduce carbon emissions by 30 to 40 percent. Polystyrene is actually one of our key targets for 2025 uh, rethinking packaging. So the expected outcome with this solution is first and foremost a reduced CO2 uh, impact of using this material. Second, recyclability. Third, which is more operational, that solution is actually coming flat. So we are gaining on storage and also on transportation. The use of polystyrene boxes today at Saitiva, we are talking about roughly 60,000 boxes on a yearly basis. From a volume perspective, that represents uh, roughly 71 containers per year. So with this project, we are aiming at, at uh, removing completely 60,000 boxes per year. Of course, for a project like this, uh, we have to validate our product and make sure that it will fit with our product requirement and our customer requirements. So to do that, the first step was really uh, to do our ISTA testing, so really recreating certain environment to make sure that the product was really fit for purpose. Second, we, have, we had some pilot shipments across our site with temperature loggers to monitor the temperatures and make sure that that was good for uh, the real-time shipments. And now we are going live uh, with shipments directly to our customers.